Hi, this is Corey McCarthy, and welcome to a new episode of Fit, Formidable, and Fantastic. That's right. Go F yourself. And happy Friday. In this episode, I wanted to discuss uh, a way that you can, in your next workout, increase your hypertrophy potential by at least 8%. And this is actually a researched uh, method. Um, the research was released at it by a team in Japan in 2004, actually, and uh, those details are going to appear at the top of the screen, the, uh, the study. Um, basically, what it shows is this, is that in, if you include lower rep, heavier weight work in the same workout as higher rep, lighter weight work, you can actually increase the amount of hypertrophy. That means increase your growth potential, assuming your diet is in check for that goal. Um, now, I've always, you know, uh, pushed a method that I call the flush sets um, for myself that I've always seemed to find uh, works. And um, I kind of did that intuitively. And an example of that would be, for instance, I would have a core compound move, and then I would have a few accessory moves, and then I would pick a isolation accessory move, usually cables. Uh, I would I usually optimally did cable or machine with this um, because of the constant tension, especially with cables. Um, I would pick a move that was an isolation move for a very, I would zone in a specific part that I thought was weak. For instance, if I wanted to hit more upper chest, I might do low pulley cable crossovers. Um, and I would do that final exercise of like three to four sets of 25 to 30 reps. And while the previous exercise, especially the core compound move, would be like maybe six to eight reps, and then the accessory moves would be around 10 to 12 rep range. So that I, that's how I intuitively would train. And now this study is actually kind of confirming things that I have felt all along. What it's saying, for instance, if you take a core move, and I think they did the study with five by five, which is a training method. And then you do, you do your five sets of five, for instance, and then you finish with a back off set um, of like, you know, think 20 rep squats, for instance, if you're thinking squats for this. Uh, and that actually increases your hypertrophy potential. So um, it's basically a, a bit, a little bit different than what I was, what I was doing, but, um, but similar nonetheless. So what I would do now to arrange my, uh, my workout to be more like the study suggests, I would, for instance, start, let's take back. I would start with the big core move like deadlift. And I would do five by five. So five sets of five reps where I'd max out on all of those. And then I would do one back off set to finish off with like, you know, maybe 20 to 30 reps of the deadlift. And, and yes, that's, that is as painful as it sounds doing 20 to 30 reps of deadlifting or squatting or any of those actually. That's, that's going to like, that's going to be, it's going to burn. Um, but that's how I would do that. Then I would throw in some accessory work, for instance, maybe some some pull ups, some row, like a row of some kind, either bent over or, or seated cable rows. Maybe then like a reverse grip pull down or narrow grip pull down or something like that to finish it to finish it off. That's just an example for back. But I would do that higher rep set simply to finish off that uh, core move in the beginning as opposed to putting at the end of the workout like I was doing intuitively before. Not to say it doesn't work, but if I wanted to try to um, put this study into into action. So there you go. That's one right right there um, that's been researched that you can actually increase the quality of your workout if you're shooting for a muscular hypertrophy. Uh, if you have any questions or want some elaborations or Want to discuss this? Please pop the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you on Monday for the Meatless Monday. So stay fit, stay formidable, and stay fantastic. I will see you around.